What's going on everybody? I'm Josh with Fort Collins Nissan and today I'm demonstrating the all new 2022 Nissan Murano. once again with the Murano. It feels like it's only been 22 days since I did a walk around on the 2021 version. And like I said in that video, the Murano is an intergenerational model for Nissan, like a rock sitting in the middle of a river. The world flows by and the Murano stays the same. It is true, and to be honest, I had some difficulty thinking of things to highlight on this new version, because so much is the same. In fact, the only difference I could find was that the MSRP for the 2022 Nissan Platinum starts at 46,160 compared with 45,910 on the 21 model. Even though there are so many similarities, while you were listening to voiceover Josh, I found a couple of things that I never noticed before. Let's begin by talking about how it feels on the road. Like the 2021 model, it's exceptionally comfortable. And the 3.5 liter V6 engine provides adequate power for acceleration. However, there was one thing that I didn't catch, which was the steering weight. It reminds me of the new Frontier. I just don't remember the 2021 Murano feeling this heavy. Now, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't recommend turning away and fleeing, but it is noticeable. Steering aside, the Murano drives as smoothly and as quietly as the previous version. In fact, it appears as if the road noise has been dampened even further on the 22 model. When I drove it, I noticed a distinct quietness that even the 21 version couldn't match. Part of the reason may have been an update to the new Bose audio system. If you saw my 21 review, you'll remember that I said the subwoofer felt like it was punching you in the face, like a six-year-old karate white belt. This new version is noticeably better. It's still mounted in the dash, but the base feels more like a kitten's love tap. Frankly, if you like the Murano of previous years, you'll love the 22 version. The 3.5 liter V6 engine still produces 260 horsepower and 240 foot-pounds of torque. The intelligent all-wheel drive system still provides superb inclement weather control, and the fuel economy remains a consistent 24 miles to the gallon. And like the other models, you still get 31.1 cubic feet with the seats up and 65 cubic feet with the seats down, which is about the same size as one tote box or three tote boxes. The fact that the Murano hasn't changed since 2015 is kind of endearing. Not only does it make adapting to the technology easier, but you get features you just don't see in new vehicles anymore. For example, this is the first vehicle I remember reviewing that has a CD player. Yes, the Murano makes things simple. Rather than having to relearn everything, the features are obvious and easy. The heated seats are controlled by knobs, the instrument cluster has an analog speedometer and tachometer, and even the infotainment screen comes with large buttons to indicate menu options. Now look at this. The 120 volt DC outlet has a cigarette lighter as a cover. Now, you can't light your cigarette with it, but it takes you back a few years. How quaint. Just because the Murano has kept features from five years ago doesn't mean it's absent of technology. The around view monitor provides a bird's eye view with forward and reverse sensors. The tailgate is motion activated and the infotainment system provides Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM radio, and Nissan's hands-free text messaging assistant. This, the platinum trim, even has heated seats in the second row and two USB ports for your passengers to charge their devices. The Murano also comes equipped with advanced active safety features, such as active cruise control, whereby the vehicle will speed up or slow down based on traffic and the predetermined speed, blind spot detection, which alerts the driver of vehicles in the blind spot, and autonomous emergency braking, which will apply the brakes if an accident is imminent. 
If you've never had blind spot detection before, I want to demonstrate it here. As this vehicle holds its position on my left, that yellow indicator light illuminates, telling me to hold off changing lanes. Now, let's say I get caught up thinking about that sexy basketball I saw earlier. There you have it. The Murano will make sure to keep you alert. The active safety features on the Murano are top notch, but so are the passive safety features, such as airbags and crumple zones. According to the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration, the Murano received five stars for its safety test, and the IIHS gave the Murano the illustrious Top Safety Pick Plus. Not only that, the Murano comes standard, which means every trim level, with full LED headlights. Now, that may not sound like much, but the IIHS judges the standard for acceptable and optimal headlight ranges. And according to them, these surpass even the optimal rating. The Murano is not only safe, but also very reliable. The 21 model has yet to suffer from any safety recalls. I understand that doesn't guarantee the 22 will have none, but it is a pretty solid indicator, given the few differences between the two. So what's my conclusion on the Murano? Well, if you're looking for all the newest styling and technology, it may not be a good fit for you. However, if you love the timeless characteristics which have defined the Murano these past few years, it may be exactly what you're looking for. And say what you will about Nissan, but their SUVs ride like clouds, and that should always be taken into consideration. Thank you for watching this 2022 Nissan Murano walk around video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. Also check out Fort Collins Nissan in Fort Collins, Colorado for a stupendous car buying experience. Special thanks to Cole Yeager for cinematography utilized in this video.